Listen, Pee Wee, why don't you come by the station house tomorrow? Then you can wear a fireman's helmet and slide down the fire pole. Wow, cool. Thanks, Derek. Well, bye, Reba. Bye, Miss Vaughn. Later, blood. <laughs> Okay, so here's another thing that uh, is wrong with streaming movies. Okay, like I don't have, I've gotten rid of all my streamers. I only have one left that ends in two days. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones. It's called Mubi. It's mostly indie flicks. And so that's what's good. It's Well, it's indie and world uh it's indie and foreign films, mostly. Mubi, M-U-B-I. It's great. I love it. I would highly recommend that. And I would also highly recommend Arrow, if you really want to stream movies. Arrow shows mostly cold films. Uh, but the thing that sucks about streaming movies, besides the costs, and by the way, I recommend Mubi, and Arrow uh, because they're they're very reasonably priced but the main reason I'm recording this thing this little segment in regards to streaming and why it's good to still hold on to your DVDs your blu-rays your VHS tapes your laser discs whatever you have uh, is because when you're watching a movie if the internet goes out, so does the movie. And it's already happened twice tonight because it's crappy weather. Uh, and anyway, I just needed to get that off my chest. Now, I will resume my movie. Hopefully it doesn't go out a third time. If it does, I'm out.